Hello. Okay. So, um, starting with a shameless plug of our uh, company logo there. Um, before, um, before I started up Nobrow, I was um, a video director. And uh, uh, as with most, or well, with myself, video directing involved a little bit of downtime or in between jobs or kind of unemployment. Um, I, um, I actually started, uh, I came across this thing on the internet called eBay. Has anyone heard of that? Um, anyway, the, being a little bit skint at the time, um, one of the things that I kind of became obsessed with buying on eBay was uh, Ladybird books. Um, it could be a bit dodgy that, but somehow it's, it's okay. It's children's books that were kind of, uh, you probably all remember, or some of you might from uh, your childhoods. Um, I certainly remember them from when I was a kid. They were mainly the books that were stuck together with sellotape in our school library that everyone kind of threw at each other. But um, the ones that, um, that I really like, because there's loads of nursery rhymes and stuff, but they're crap. Uh, you want to go for this type of thing, public services, electricity. <laughs> this, this, the fact that this book exists is, to me, is just a minor miracle. And if I, if I show you one of the spreads, that this is my personal favorite. <laughs> I, I mean, how, how can you not love that? <laughs> Look at the fire, it's just great. And the, I mean, anyway. But um, uh, when, um, when I uh, decided to have a bit of a career change and go into publishing, um, this book came in really handy. Um, and I, I, I was so glad that I actually managed to accidentally buy this in, in a job lot of other things. But um, most of these books actually kind of cost, a, I don't know, a quid or something on eBay, but you get the odd one that's actually a, a real gem. And this one, does t it, it taught me so much about the print process. Um, and one of the things that I actually found really inspiring, uh, and it kind of made me think of um, uh, ways of doing books, but it kind of explains how this book itself would, was made. And it's just using one massive sheet of paper and, uh, and then it's all printed and chopped up. And I just thought that was so clever and good <laughs> and cheap. Uh, but um, uh, anyway, very, very good. Uh, this is a, don't, I don't want any of you to think I have a fixation about sheep during this talk, but this is um, taken from uh, one of my favorite Ladybird books, which is just um, kind of an early reader's book, and it's just got some of the most beautiful illustrations. And, and actually, they were done just a, a tiny bit bigger, about an extra sort of third bigger than the, the size that they're printed and then scaled down. But um, uh, anyway, enough of Ladybird books for now. Uh, Black Bob um, is a sheepdog, so you can see the link there. Um, <laughs> This, this one, I, I, I can't remember where, I, I might even have got this in a junk shop, but it's a comic book about a sheepdog. And um, uh, I mean, the comic itself is rubbish. It's, it's about a sheepdog. Um, and the, the amazing thing is that they, they did like at least eight annuals of this, you know, like it's sort of in the 50s and early 60s. Um, but what I love about this book is uh, uh, not the stories about kind of building dry stone walls and um, herding sheep. Um, it's like they have these amazing kind of like uh, pages in between the stories and, and like look what you can make with sheep. Tennis rackets, <laughs> strings for musical instruments and, and uh, uh, yeah the one at the top where you can see the, the different holes that they punch in the sheep's ears so that they can tell which farmer owns them. I, I don't know, I, there's something magical about this book, really, for me. Um, staying with an animal theme, um, it's just a cute animal. These are some uh, fruit uh, packaging labels from, from America. I just put that in there because it's just good, isn't it? Um, this is slightly more, I suppose, linked to uh, what I do now in, in, in terms of uh, printing methods, for example, so kind of being, being serious, but uh, this is from a 1960s Godzilla uh, annual from Japan, 
And um, one of the things, again, that, that really inspired Alex and I was, was just the use of spot colours. So if you into printing and, you know, all that sort of thing, it's, it's a kind of, I don't know, something outside of corporate colours or something that you don't really see that much use of necessarily in, in publishing these days, in illustration at least. So this was really cool because it was just a, a, a really cool illustration of uh, Godzilla and... Uh, I can't remember the name of the other guy. What's the other guy called? Doesn't matter, but you can see his insides, so it's fine. Um, and uh, it kind of links up with, with this one, which is, again, using um, uh, spot colors, but this is like end papers to a, to a, a nature book from, from the States, from like the 50s. And um, there's something, I don't know why we're just sort of really, it's a weird thing to get enthusiastic about the end papers of a book. I, I, have, I can't explain it, I'm sorry, but I find it interesting. But this one, um, just one colour, and it's just, I don't know, just really, it's the, the chance in a book just to do any old thing really, but it's just kind of, kind of brings it all together, which is really lovely. Um, and. Um, this one is, I just pulled it out at the last minute, to be honest, because I was looking for some more pictures to show you all. Um, so I don't know anything about it at all. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, uh, but it is a really nice picture of uh, deep in the ocean, and there are squids in it. And, uh, <laughs> but, um, but actually, seriously though, um, there, there, there is a point behind this is that um, uh, in, again, in what we do, we're, we're kind of taking illustration and using it um, in kind of quite an old-fashioned way, which is quite a pleasing thing. And the way that things are printed these days, often using coated papers and things like that, we, we usually use uncoated paper stock because it just kind of makes us feel like we're looking through one of these old books. Um, and I don't know, there's something tactile and, and beautiful about that and nothing to do with sponsors or anything, but I think, is this sponsored by a paper company, this, <laughs> this event? Anyway, I'm going to end on my most favourite spread ever from, a, from any Ladybird book. Um, uh, I, I feel really ashamed <laughs> that I don't know the artist's name who did it, um, but look at it, it's beautiful and it's nuts. Um, Anyway, I'm, I'm uh, 19, 18, 17, 16. But uh, anyway, thank you very much, and uh, thanks for listening to me. <laughs>